You should stop trying to sell simple AI automations if you want to make money with AI. What you should be selling instead are business intelligence dashboards. These dashboards automatically collect and analyze data from all the different tools a company uses and then present it in a clear and visually appealing way so business owners can make fast and data-driven decisions. Right now, most businesses still gather all of this information manually, which costs them massive amounts of time and resources every week. That's why these dashboards are the best systems to sell as an AI agency, since almost every business needs them and the return on investment is obvious. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can build and sell them step by step. So let's get started. Now, as you can see over here, this is a standard AI automation that most people are trying to sell, which is not the most ideal thing to sell into the majority of businesses. What you should be selling instead is an intelligent AI dashboard, just like this one. And the reason an AI dashboard is generally better than an AI automation is because business owners need to see data but gathering all the data takes hours and has to be done every week in order for the business owner to be able to make a correct decision and that's where you and specifically the business intelligence dashboards come in because you will create a system that does all of this manual work automatically for them and you're going to save them or even their employees all the time that they would otherwise take to go inside all the apps the company is using and gather all of this data to then analyze it and then give it to the CEO in order for him to be able to make data-driven decisions. But with your AI dashboards, you will be able to take in all the data from all the apps the company is using. It can be HubSpot, it can be Go High Level, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and any other app you can imagine. You're going to use AI to synthesize and analyze the data, and then you're going to present this analysis in a visually appealing way which is very easy for everyone to understand this way your system can do the work a person would do four hours every week which it might not seem like much guys but if you actually sit there and think about it that is 16 hours per month and it is 208 hours per year which is five full work weeks and the best part is that if you actually have your system do it it's going to be done more accurate because your system is not going to make a mistake when gathering data when if a human being was gathering this data he could potentially make a mistake because we are all human but guess what isn't human your own ai system it's also going to be done way faster you will not have to wait hours for the patient to gather the data. You will simply press one button and you will have all the data inside your dashboard immediately. And it will also be done automatically for you. Because if you want, you can set up your AI system to gather the data automatically. So you don't even have to go and press that button that I told you before. Which is going to allow all the people inside the business to focus on more important tasks than simply gathering data. But just so you understand the full value of the system, let's actually go and do some math. Let's say a person makes $25 per hour. If we manage to save him 208 hours every year, that's $5,200. Which means that you can charge at least $1,500 for a system like this. And in my opinion, it is one of the easiest systems to sell as a beginner. Plus, it is super simple to productize because you can simply build the front end and then all you have to do is to simply connect the apps that the company is using in the back end. So you can very easily turn this into a template and you have to do very minimal work every time you sell it to another client. That's why in my opinion, AI dashboards are one of the easiest systems to sell as a beginner. Because realistically, all you need to do is to create a front-end interface with an app like Lovable or Bold.new and then use NA10 to retrieve all the relevant data and simply send it back into Lovable. So you're basically using NA10 not even to build automations, just to gather data from all the other apps. And then you simply send all of this data back in your Lovable interface. And in this video, I will show you exactly how you can do that. And at the end, I will also tell you exactly how would go about selling a system like this to business owners. So let's start by me showing you how I would personally build the front end interface of an AI dashboard. Well, this is an AI dashboard that I have personally built. And as you can see, this does look very good, guys. This is an app that basically every business owner would want. And how I actually managed to build it is by going over to lovable.dev and typing this simple prompt over here, where I basically tell Lovable that I want to create a business analytics dashboard with a modern minimal look. I will give you some data from a web URL and I want you to display this 
data in a nice way with nice analytics and graphs. Make the theme dark, something sleek and professional while it is easy to navigate. But then specifically tell it, you just focus on building a nice looking front end UI. Don't try to do any of the backend functions because I will do all of them within a 10. And then what I also do guys is I give it an example design which you can see over here and how I managed to find this example design was by going over to Google and searching for a nice looking UI then I simply found one that I liked and it was this design specifically and then all I did was simply download it from over here and then I came over here and I attached it in my lovable message and this is the result that I got now obviously did do some back and forth with lovable telling it hey maybe fix this section over here maybe add in a graph over here but I basically did it just by typing simple language into lovable and it went over and made all of the changes for me and if you want to see how I built this specific business analytics dashboard step by step I will leave a card somewhere around here so you can go and watch the next but now I want to show you how I actually managed to get real-time data from apps that businesses use a lot like Google Sheets, Google Docs, HubSpot, Go High Level and many other apps inside our lovable interface. To do that you're going to have to go to an app like N10 which is basically an automation platform which allows you to automate processes with many different other apps. Now the first thing that we have to do is to come over here and add in our trigger, which for our trigger, we would have to come over here and add in a webhook node. And the reason we would have to add in a webhook and not any other trigger is because a webhook will allow us to connect the front-end interface we have built in Lovable with the backend automation we're going to build in NA10. As you can see, we have a bunch of settings over here, but the only change we need to make is we need to come over here in the HTTP method and change it from get over to post since that is the request we're going to be sending over to Lovable in order for us to be able to send and receive data. So now that we configure that, it's time we actually go and we retrieve data from all the apps that the supposed business is using. So let's say the business is using Google Sheets. All we would have to do is to come over here, click on the plus icon and simply come over here and search for Google Sheets. We would have to come over here and select get draws in Sheet. Since that is what we actually want to do, we want to retrieve data from inside our Google Sheets. Now the first thing that we have to do is to come over here and select our Google Sheets credentials. Now if you do not have credentials, you can simply come over here, click on create new credential and simply sign it with your Google account. And then you will be able to come over here and select your credentials. Then an operation, make sure you leave this on get rows. Since that's what you actually want to do, you want to retrieve information from inside the Google Sheets. And then over here for the document, what you have to do is to simply select the Google Sheet you want to retrieve the information from. Now let's say I want to retrieve information from the Google Sheet that is called appointments simply because we have all of our appointments data over there. Well, we would have to simply come over here and select it. And then we would have to come over here and select the seed number. Now, as you can see, I only have one seed number, so I will simply select it. But if you had multiple, you simply select the one that you want. And now if we come over here and we execute the step, you will see that nothing is actually going to happen. And that is because a webhook needs to be called first. Just so I can show you how this actually works, I will come over here and add in a manual trigger. In the workflow that you are building, you do not have to add this, but I'm adding this just so I can explain it better. So if I execute this now, you can see that this did execute successfully and we did manage to retrieve all the data that we had inside that specific Google Sheet. And if you have multiple Google Sheets that you want to retrieve data from, which a company probably does have a lot, all you would have to do is to come over here, copy this node, paste it in over here, and then you will simply need to connect it to the webhook over here, and then simply come over here and change the specific Google Sheet you want to retrieve data from. So let's say I also wanted to retrieve data from the Google Sheet that is called Question Leads, because I have information about my leads there. Well, I can simply go over there and simply select it. I need to come over here, select the seed number, and if I come over here and execute the step, I will actually manage to retrieve information from inside the Google Sheet as well. And now, if you wanted to retrieve information from other apps as well, for example, you could have a lot of data inside Google Docs as well. All you would have to do is to come over here, find the Google Docs node that anything has, simply select it, and then click on Get Document. Then you would have to come over here, select your Google Docs credentials, and then the only thing you will need to do is to come over here in Doc ID or URL, and simply paste in the URL of the Google Doc you want to retrieve information from. So let's say for example, I want to retrieve information from this Google Doc over here. All I would have to do is to simply select it, then come over here and click on the share button. Then I will need to turn the access to anyone with the link. Then I would have to copy the link and click on done. And then come back over to it then simply paste in the link I just copied. And then when this workflow was turned live, it would actually retrieve information from inside the Google Doc as well. 
and I think you get the point. And the best part is that any tenant has basically access to almost every app that a business uses. Let's say, for example, you wanted go high level. All you would have to do is to search for high level and then come over here and select get many tasks. And you would be able to retrieve information from your go high level as well. And all you would have to do is to simply connect it to our first initial webhook over here. Let's say you also wanted HubSpot. Well, you could come over here and search for HubSpot and any tenant has also access to that. Let's say you wanted to retrieve data from your Gmail as well. You could come over here and select your Gmail and add in a Gmail node. The point of this video is not for me to show you all the apps anything has access to, is to basically show you the logic behind how we're going to do this, which is for basically any app that the business uses, simply go over to any ten, simply search for it over here in the search bar and any ten probably has a native node for it from which you can retrieve relevant data. Let's say we have retrieved all of this data, but we need a way to send it back in our lovable interface. So to do that, we would have to come over here, click on the plus icon, and we would have to come over here and search for a respond to webhook node. And the reason we're using a respond to webhook node is because we want to send all the data that we have gathered back in a lovable interface. So then it can be analyzed and then displayed in a very nice and visually appealing way. And to do that, we would have to come over here and change the response with from first incoming item to all incoming items since we want to send all the data that's going to come over in this respond web node back in a lovable interface and then all we would have to do is to simply come over here click on the plus icon and we would have to add in a merge node which what the merge node is basically going to do is it is basically going to merge all the apps that we have over here and make them into one output so then it can be returned back in our end and interface now do not get intimidated by the technicalities of this all you would have to do is to simply come over here and select how how many inputs you would have in your merge node for me let's say i have four and then i simply come over here and connect all the apps that i have in my net and interface over here in this merge node and after i did that all I would have to do is to come over here in my merge node and connect it in my response to webhook node. But we're not done yet guys because we do need to make one more change. Which is us coming over here in our webhook node and we need to change the response parameter from immediately to using a response to webhook node. Because if we do not make this change we're not going to be able to send that data back into Lovable. Now do not ask me or we have to configure this inside the webhook. I have no idea guys. You should honestly ask any tenant that. But that's how it is. So make sure you actually go and make this change. And now the last thing that we need to do is to basically connect this full workflow that we have built over here with our front end Lovable interface. Because right now, sure we can retrieve all of this data, but we haven't actually connected it with a front end interface. So we cannot actually send all this data back there and actually display it. And how we're going to be able to make this connection is by coming back over in our webhook node and click on top of this URL, which is actually going to copy it in our clipboard. And then we will need to come back over to Lovable and say something like create a button, which every time I press it, you trigger the webhook URL. Then wait, because this webhook URL is going to send you back data. Make sure you take this data and analyze it using AI and you display it in this interface in a very nice and visually appealing way. This is the webhook URL. And now what I will do is I will simply paste in the web URL, just copy it, and I will come over here and click on enter. And now Lovable is going to take this web URL, embed it inside our app, and it is also going to create a button which every time we press, our anything automation is going to trigger in the backend. It's going to retrieve the data from all the apps that we have connected and then it's going to send all this data back into Lovable where it's going to use AI to analyze it and then present it with many different graphs and charts as you can see over here in this interface. And now all we have to do is to wait till Lovable is done making this change. And boom guys, Lovable just finished making the changes and as you can see, we do have a button over here that's called get data, which every time we click, it's going to trigger our backend animation in an end. It's going to get the data and then it's going to send it back in a lovable interface so it can be displayed over here. Now, I do want to point one thing out, which is something that a lot of beginners struggle with and nobody seems to mention. If we go back in our end interface, and we open up a webhook, we can see that we're actually in the test URL right now, which means that when we're in this web URL, we have to constantly come over here and click on listen for test event in order for our automation to work. If you want this to run automatically, what you have to do is to switch over to the production URL, click on top of this link to copy it in your clipboard, and then you also need to come over here and turn this automation from inactive to active if you want this to automatically run every single time without you having to come back over to it and clicking on execute workflow and then you would need to come back over in your lovable interface and simply say switch over the webhook url to this one and then simply come over here and paste in the webhook url you just copied 
I click on enter and Lovable is going to switch over to the live production web URL. So now that I show you the logic behind how you can build an app like this, let me actually show you how I would personally go and sell it. And I would do it by using cold email. Specifically, I would go over to Apollon.io and find some qualified leads that meet the criteria that I personally have. Now the good thing with this is you can basically sell this to almost any business owner. You can sell it to accounting firms, to law firms, to real estate agents, to chiropractors, to medical clinics, etc. So I would basically come over here and list the criteria of the exact persona that I'm trying to sell this AI dashboard to. And I would take the list with all of these leads and I would go over to a platform that is called Instantly, which is basically a platform that was specifically made for cold email. And I would set up and come which I would be sending emails to all of these leads with the end goal of me selling my AI dashboard to them. Now if you're wondering how you can do that, you can click the link in my description and come and check out my school community where I have fully in-depth guides showing you how to sell automations and AI systems like this with multiple different methods where I show you exactly which moves you need to make step by step. So if that interests you, make sure you click the link in the description and you come and check out my school community, which if you join, you're going to get access to all of this content over here along with access to all the assets from every one of the videos that I have made which of course include all the JSON files from all the automations I have built in NA10 so you can simply click on the JSON then download it upload it over to NA10 I have an automation that I personally built populate for you automatically without you having to do anything or you can even check my full YouTube guide over here which I show you how I would start and sell an AI service from scratch using the method of finding leads from Apollo and then creating a cold email campaign in instantly to market my AI dashboard. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you go and watch that video next and I will see you over there.